let me show you something else. So uh, Rishi here is carrying his own Android remote, which, by the way, is paired to the same box as I am, so that we can have two remote controls controlling the same box at the same time, so that we don't need to fight for the remote. <laughs> and of course, uh, Rishi couldn't help it. While I was speaking, he was browsing the web, and he came up with a really neat website that he wants to share with us. So but he doesn't want to share it on his small screen. He wants to share it on the big screen. So how are you going to do that? Well, let me see if <laughs> the Wi-Fi is kicking me off back and forth. So let me see if I can get on really quickly. I'll, I'll take a. OK, let's see. All right, I'm on. Let's hopefully it All stays right. on. I know you can uh, do it. So I'm watching a cool video here. So I'm actually watching it on my phone, enable the flash, of course. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see if I can stay on again and push it directly to the TV. And this is Voila. Rishi, that was a very special video that you shared with us. Even better what we're watching than what we're watching on TV before. Of course. All right. So at any rate, this is just the beginning. <coughs> Why? Because actually we're going to publish this IP remote control protocol so that you, developers, can build your own apps and your own remote controls on the device of your choice, be it a PC, a smartphone, or a tablet, to enhance the Google TV experience. All right, so that's pretty much the story about the hardware. Thank you. Rishi, do you want to tell us about the software? Yeah, can we pull, uh, pull back the slides, please? Although I'd love to keep watching this video. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> All right, so let me talk a little bit about the software. So the Google TV has three components to the stack. The first is Android. We are built on Android 2.1 and we'll be upgrading to later versions of Android over time, because we have the ability to do over-the-air updates. Second, the browser. We are Google Chrome. We needed a full web-compatible browser to be able to browse everything that's out there. We chose the fastest. And finally, if you want to be fully compatible with all the web video content out there, you need to have Flash. So we also have a full Flash 10.1 plugin as part of Google Chrome. And that's the software. But one thing we haven't talked too much about yet is Android. One of the benefits of being built on Android and Chrome is that not only can we deliver great web applications to users, we can also deliver Android apps. Wouldn't it be cool if I can take my favorite mobile app and actually just have it work on my TV? Soon, you can. <laughs> 